From the ghost of a seductive and long dead prostitute to a haunted mind that took many lives, we're looking at some of the ghost stories, legends, paranormal tales, and haunted places of Arizona, USA. The Copper Queen Hotel. Arizona's Copper Queen Hotel is the longest continuously operating hotel in the country. Built around 1900, the hotel boasts a number of interesting legends in its history. In the 1920s, a prostitute named Miss Julia worked at the Copper Queen, specifically on the third floor. She fell in love with one of her clients and hoped he would take her away, but instead got her heart broken. Not able to handle the rejection, Miss Julia killed herself. Men staying on the third floor of the hotel report hearing a female voice whisper in their ears at night. Some have even awoken to see a woman dancing seductively by their bed. When they blink, she's gone. The San Carlos Hotel The San Carlos Hotel in Phoenix is another hotel reported to house a ghost born from suicide. Just before construction on the hotel was completed, a woman named Miss Jensen jumped to her death from the hotel roof. Some legends say Miss Jensen killed herself because of a broken heart inflicted by a romance gone bad. The truth, however, seems to be that she decided to end her life because she saw no relief from a terminal illness. It somehow makes the entire story that much more tragic. Whether by choice or by curse, Miss Jensen seems to be sticking around the last place she visited in her unfortunate life. Jefferson Park Continuing our list of haunted places with tragic histories is Jefferson Park in Mesa, Arizona. A woman wearing white is said to wander the park late at night. Legend has it that the ghost is that of a woman who was raped and murdered near the park. Along with the woman in white, shadowy figures that appear and vanish on the edges of people's vision are also seen. One thought is that these dark figures belong to those who attacked and murdered the woman in white and are now doomed to haunt the scene of their crime. St. Andrew's Episcopal Church If the movie Poltergeist taught us one thing, it's not to build buildings on Native American burial grounds. Unfortunately, the builders of St. Andrew's Episcopal Church missed that lesson. Today, the Church of Nogales has its share of ghostly residents, at least some of them appearing to be Native Americans from the past. Sometimes it's nothing more than muddy footprints appearing out of nowhere that signal a supernatural presence. Other times, the church's living visitors have reported fully formed apparitions that walk the grounds. Luckily, and unlike Poltergeist, the spirits of St. Andrew's Episcopal Church appear to be pretty harmless. The Vulture Mine Mines, especially mines of the Old West, were known for being unpleasant and deadly places to work. Originally owned by Henry Wickenburg, the mine would contribute to Henry's downfall. After losing control of the vulture, Wickenburg, broke and hopeless, put a bullet through his brain. One infamous spot at the mine is what's called the glory hole. Miners digging in the pit accidentally cut through the support pillars. The tons of rock that came crashing down killed seven men. In a place that caused so much death and despair, it's no wonder that many claim the mine is haunted. Visit and maybe catch sight of one of the many who owe their destruction to the vulture mine. The world's full of great scary stories and legends. Where should we go next?